Hope you're all doing great and keeping safe. Welcome to or welcome back to my channel Nest Artfully. I'm Anusha and I talk about everything home decor, DIYs and plant care. So I recently conducted a poll on my channel asking what other content categories I should be looking at and most of the votes were for home organization and cleaning and I understand this is a very very important aspect of keeping your home looking good and feeling good. So while makeovers are great fun, if your house has to look nice on a day to day basis, a lot of organization and cleaning work goes into it and this is something I've been ignoring in my personal life as well there are parts of the house such as the storeroom which is pretty much out of sight and out of mind so today I'm going to be tackling a long pending project which is a small part of my kitchen organization I have this rack on which I store all my condiments and certain spices and other aspects of daily cooking which has gotten into a really bad mess and I want to clean this up and organize it in a very aesthetic and pleasing manner and for this I'm going to be using some products that I already have at home like old jam jars and pickle jars I'm going to repurpose this into beautiful containers so the first step of organizing is to figure out containers here I have an assortment of glass bottles jars that I've collected over a period of time they're old uh, pasta sauce bottles jam bottles pickle bottles and glass bottles can be upcycled very nicely very creatively so that's what we're going to do we're going to take these bottles and prep them and give them an aesthetic makeover I've dumped all the bottles in some warm water along with a little bit of dish soap so that all the labels can soak a while and I can easily peel them off. So as you can see, I've removed the labels from all the bottles as well as the adhesive. Now for a final round of cleanup, I'm going to put them in the dishwasher so that when they come out, I can seal the lid and get started on painting on the outside and then they'll be ready for use. So all the labels have been removed and these bottles are ready to be used as is but from an aesthetic and design perspective I wanted all the bottles to look similar which is very difficult to achieve as is because they're all of different sizes and shapes so the one thing I can do is paint them now this is a tall bottle and I've decided to store pulses in it so I'm going to get started on painting it so to ensure that I'm able to see the contents inside the bottle I'm going to be using masking tape across a section of the bottle on which I won't be painting and then when I peel it off later on I'm going to get this transparent section which is look, going to look very nice. Now for the paint itself I am using acrylic paint uh, but the best paint that you can use is actually synthetic paint because it provides a very neat finishing with minimal effort and it's not sticky once it dries. The first coat of paint on this bottle is done and while it dries I'm going to get started on the other bottle which I've painted completely. It's already got one coat of paint and looks like this. You can see some amount of transparency and brush strokes so we're going to fix that with the second layer. Now regardless of the paint that you use, synthetic or acrylic, you have to be very careful while you choose to clean them. I don't think they can be put in the dishwasher with the coat of paint on it. Uh, and while you clean them, it's better not to use any sort of metal scrub, just a sponge, scratch bright, or you can even use things like glass cleaning liquid to once in a while spray and just wipe it down to keep the grime and dirt off. While the bottles are drying, it's time to move on to the next step which is labelling. Now labelling can give the bottles a beautiful finish and all you need for this simple hack is a printout of the labels, cellophane tape, an ATM or credit card, a bowl of water and a pair of scissors. Let's get started. Step 1. Cut the desired label from the sheet of paper. Step 2. Take a bit of cellophane tape. Now place the cellophane tape on a flat surface with the sticky side facing up. Step 3. Place the label with the printed side facing down on the sticky side of the cellophane tape. It will look something like this. 
for step 4 you will need the card that we spoke of earlier now with this you're just going to rub across the back of the paper to ensure that the print gets transferred onto the cellophane tape step 5 dip the cellophane tape along with the label in a bowl of water step 6 is to remove it from the bowl of water and just gently rub away the white paper you will see that the print has transferred onto the cellophane tape now while it's wet the cellophane tape won't be sticky so we are just going to let this dry a bit and then we're going to get the glue come back on the cellophane tape and it's going to help us just stick it in place on our bottles All the labels are now on the bottles. For these bottles, I've used a label on the face of the bottle as well as on the top to keep the functionality so that I'll be able to know what's inside the bottle even while looking at it from the top and also so that I don't switch the caps. Now for other bottles such as these, I've only given the transparent uh, patch in between so that I can see what's inside the bottle and I've kept the label only on the top. Now I've done this whole thing where we do the paint job for the bottles to look similar only because the food doesn't come in contact with the paint so it's safe to use and such products where I have chili powder in a full bottle like this it's going to take time for me to get to a cleaning stage after finishing the product and I will be cleaning it only with some gentle soap and sponge so it's completely something you can try out. Now let's get into filling these up and organizing the rack. Look at me like I'm crazy When I shut my feelings out You look at me like I'm different Still you stay cause you feel something real Get so lost in my moments Doesn't mean I don't need you I, 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 I fell in love with your colors They kinda tell me what I'm thinking Fell in love with the way we are And the way we lose it There's something different about us And the reason why we stay Stay In the last rack, I've stored onions, potatoes and garlic I've repurposed some plastic containers that came along with the fruits to hold the onions and the potatoes so that the rack doesn't get dirty easily we fly around like paper planes, they never know where we will fall. Nobody can see us, still they wanna tear us apart. There's something different about the way we are. are, are, are. I can't believe what started as such a big mess now looks so well organized and aesthetic. We did this keeping in mind the kitchen makeover that we are in the process of doing. So we wanted to make sure the color palette and the way we kept the rack, the way we organized it actually makes the kitchen look spacious and nice because we have a pretty small kitchen with a lot of dark colors in it already. So when you're doing it, you can choose your colors. And like I said earlier, Synthetic paint is your best bet because it dries pretty well, it doesn't have a sticky feel to it and you can wipe down with a sponge, wet cloth very easily without scratching the paint. So that's the best and ideal solution. But if you'd like to avoid painting the jars, then there are many other things that you can do to upcycle the jars you have at home and give them a more beautiful appearance. I'll be doing a separate video on that. Do stay tuned for that as well as the kitchen makeover video. I really hope you enjoyed this video and took away some tips and tricks from it. And as always, thanks for watching and have a great day. There's something different about the way we are